gang, welcome back to our channel. I need you guys to know that I'm not accepting new members of the Danny gang. If you want to be a member of the gang, 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 like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. After you hit the bell, put your fist up. Y'all got to fight me. After you fight me and you jumped in, you're a lifetime member. Period. 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 So judging by the title, y'all already know we finna get it popping. A full day of self-care. Self-care. Your girl need a little self-care. So we are outside of the spa that I come get my waxes at. So I'm actually like one minute. I have to go in there. So just know we are about to do a full day of self-care. I got a wax lined up. We're going to get some coffee. I'm going to go get my nails and toes done. And we're just going to have a full day of self-care. So with that being said, let's go get this a wax because y'all, I need it. So let's go. Y'all let me know. Have y'all done y'all self-care this month? It is January 7th and I'm doing mine. So do yours. Treat yourself. So y'all finally found a Duncan. I have not seen a Duncan in a minute and I got two Duncan gift cards for Christmas. So we are about to get Duncan. I have gotten Duncan before the Felicia Fitness drink. So let's get it one more time. Hey. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Okay, one second. I gotta find my gift card. <laughs> I got a lot of cards. I have three. Oh, Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love you all. I do love Starbucks more. I work here and I'm still Listen. I'm Starbucks Listen. Now I had two Dunkin' gift cards. I should have probably got this together. Um. I was like, oh my god, finally a Dunkin'. <laughs> A lot of people said that they were so happy to hear that this Duncan was going to be right here. Like, because I hardly ever see Duncans. Yeah, I think there's only one other one in Greensboro, and it's pretty much trash. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I think... I'm going to be so mad, because I know as soon as I drive away, I'm going to find my gift cards. Uh, and how much was it? Uh, okay. I know when I drive away, I'm gonna find them. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know where they are, y'all. Thank you. No problem. Okay. Y'all, I did all of that and <clears throat> don't know where my gift cards are. I had two Duncan gift cards. I bet you I added them to my app. I bet you. Dang. But I just means I got two Duncan gift cards still. So glad 
Y'all, that wax. So yeah, we're just gonna keep the self-care day rolling. I got my wax, now I'm getting me a cup of coffee and then we're gonna go get my nails and toes done because I deserve it. I don't know what type of nails I want. I think I just want something real neutral. Simple. I'm really mad because I don't know where my gift cards are. So I just spent $6 of my own money on Dunkin'. What they do that day? Y'all heard her? Said, is that a Starbucks gift card? <laughs> so yeah, after I get my coffee, we're gonna pull over and try it. All right, y'all, so I got my coffee. Um, this is what Felicia Fitness always gets, and it is just a, um, Um, okay yeah because i saw cream and sugar uh-uh so i got just a black ice latte um with oat milk and a caramel swirl i had it last time it was decent um i'm probably gonna be out and about majority of the day um so i'm gonna go ahead and just have this coffee kind of for like my breakfast and lunch or whatever but this is not a what i eat in a day this is just like a self-care day so i'm just showing y'all everything i do to make myself feel good and coffee is definitely one of the things it is good six dollars i don't know oh and then i did find my two gift cards y'all i had loaded them to my phone like inside the app so now i have twenty dollars worth of dunking still So yeah, now we're gonna head towards the nail shop. They open at 10. I'm hoping that I can do a walk-in at the nail shop that I like. But if not, then I'll just go to this other nail shop that I like to go to. I might go to Anthony Vance. That's bougie. Let's head to the nail shop. Mm. This right here though, bomb. This is really good. Flavor on point. All right, so here are my nails. Before, broken off. Yeah. 
tell lies, but I would never lie to you. Step and spray on my gun, I'm looking all kinds of loot. So you know what I like, what would you like to do? Tell me, tell me, I'm telling you. I know I know I've been away. I'm just trying to get my people straight, girl. Don't give my shit away. done y'all and this week i went with like a purple i don't know i'm just feeling like a purple or lavender because y'all know well you might not know but my um braces are lavender and i just wanted purple something bright something vibrant purple is like a color of a royalty or whatever so yeah i did get purple and y'all know i always get like these asymmetrical type of line designs that i really enjoy so i got a couple of them solid and then one of them um has kind of like a design one of them is just a tip so just something fun colorful playful y'all know i always do that and then i got my toes done as well um which i don't do often like i'll get a pedicure maybe once a month um so i got my toes white of course gel and then i got my hands in this kind of it's called electric purple this electric purple color that i absolutely love so now y'all i think i'm gonna run in aldi and just see like what's tea in aldi because i'm literally right here then we're gonna go home because i left my house at like eight this morning and haven't been back so yeah we're gonna do that then i'm gonna go home i've paid all my bills like i paid my car note i paid my phone bill i paid like everything i had to pay i paid and then i did my self-care i did my wax i did my nails i did my toes um so we are good to go the only other thing i may need to do i do think i need to run a couple errands but i'm gonna go home and get my apartment clean and then i'll probably head back out so yeah let's go on aldi and just see what they got i kind of want to grab some more of those crab cakes because i like them so much so yeah let's just head up in here and see what they got this is also self-care because i need to re-up on a couple things that we need in order to keep our bodies healthy so let's go to aldi all right gang so real quick a couple aldi um pescatarian finds that i'm excited about um i found these wild caught crunchy fish fillets and i told y'all before this journey will not consist of a lot of a lot of lot of processed foods for me anyway but i thought that these looked good and they would be good for like an easy meal you get 10 in the box and they were only two dollars and some change y'all keep sleeping on aldi if you want to keep doing it you're tripping i think these would be really good um in the air fryer and i will honestly make a fish sandwich with them um they have 13 grams of protein per filet like i said that's pretty good i also picked up these barbecue tofu cubes so i'm hoping babe tries them but probably not nope. <laughs> but i do like tofu it's nasty. and i think i'm gonna do it just like they did um saute it and just put it over a salad to mimic like chicken each serving is nine grams of protein and y'all already know Tofu is low in carb, only seven carbs, one dietary fiber, and this is what they look like. So, looks good to me. They were like $2. I did pick up these crab cakes. Y'all know I love a good crab cake. Um, it is real and imitation crab meat and fish flakes. So, they're oven ready. This brand, Fremont Fish Market, is really popular in Aldi. So, I grabbed these. If you can see, they are freaking huge. So, I grabbed these again just for like meals 21 grams of carbs nine grams of protein um so that's pretty good and then last but not least what i'm most excited about is all these sales beyond meat which i did not know they did and two patties at like Publix or harris teeter it's like six dollars and some change it's aldi these were 2.99 um what 
20 grams of protein per patty, which is really nice. So I got two packs and they can be obviously for burgers. Um, you can crumble them up, tacos, whatever you want to do. So that was my mini little Aldi pescatarian haul. And yeah, here go my nails kind of like with the camera light. Different. Y'all know I be trying things. I like them. All right, gang. So y'all, to just keep the self-care rolling. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, it is like 5.30. <laughs> I think the last time I saw y'all, it was about mm, one or two. I went to Aldi, but to end the night, babe and I are gonna go and take a look at a bookstore. And I'm super, super excited. I'm hoping that they're not closed. Y'all know because COVID and all, but we're gonna go to a bookstore and then we're gonna get something to eat. And of course, I bring y'all along for a little snippet but um, that's just self-care to me. Clearly, I'm not driving. But self-care to me is just doing things that I love, which are taking care of myself. So as y'all saw, I got a wax, I got my nails done, I got my toes done, I got coffee, and now I'm about to go look at some books, possibly get a new book, and then get something to eat. Like, what's better self-care than that? So with that being said, um, we are on our way and i will bring you guys back out when we get there but i don't know this is just a friendly reminder to like treat yourself if you don't want to go all out and do all of these services at least go get yourself a cup of coffee go get yourself a new book just do something for yourself but i'm gonna jump off my soapbox and i will see you guys at the bookstore yeah. sometimes we laugh and sometimes we cry but i guess you know now Baby, I took a half and she took the whole thing. Slow down, baby. We took a trip, now we on your block, and it's like a ghost town. Baby, where did these niggas be at when they said they going out this and all that? Tired of beefing you bones, you can't even pay me enough to react. Been waking up in the crib, and sometimes I don't even know where I'm at. Don't pay that nigga songs in this party, I can't even listen to that Anytime that I run into somebody, it must be a victory lap, hey Shawty come sit on my lap, hey They say a juicy just snap This in between us, is not like a store, this isn't a closable gap, hey I see some niggas attack, and don't end up kicking it back I know that they had the crib going crazy down bad What they had didn't last, damn baby yeah. Where did these niggas be at when they said they doing all this and all that? It's hard to make, so I bet they on their face right now. When he tell the story, that's not how I went. No, they be lying 100%. Moved out of the wrist and forgot about that bit. Why they just call me to tell me, come get it? Now that boy off, and I don't want no credit. If it was me, they wouldn't regret it. Let me be dead, and now they won't get it. Heart is still beating, my niggas still eat it. That girl, they look like the garden they eat it. Tell those whole bitters, spilling the tea, and they try to came back and said she didn't mean it. It's hard to believe it. I know that they had the crib gone crazy down there. What they had didn't last. Down there, what they had didn't last. Damn, baby, down there. What they had didn't last. Damn, baby, down there. What they had didn't last. Damn, baby, down there. What they had didn't last. Damn, baby. This is the book that I found from our little date night when we went to the bookstore. It's called The Coffee Trader by David Liss. And I'm super excited to read it for one. It's about coffee, duh. Um, the book was only 25 cent. The store that we went to or the bookstore that we went to was like a half price bookstore, which was super, super like exciting because I will definitely be back. Um, but yeah, it's called The Coffee Trader and basically, um, 
from what I gathered is it's based in 1659 um, on the world's first commodities exchange. Forces are won and lost in an instant. Miguel Lenzo, a sharp writer, a sharp witted trader in a close knit community of Jews, knows this only too well. Once among the city's most envied merchants, Miguel has suddenly lost everything now, improvised and humiliated, living in his younger brother's can canal flooded basement miguel must find a way to restore his wealth and reputation so i think this is going to be pretty cool and i think he's going to probably end up selling coffee or whatever i read like the first chapter and i was like oh yeah sounds good so i picked this up and yeah that's the only thing that i got from um the bookstore mckay's books Alrighty, so we got freshly done shrimp in the air fryer one thing about it if you don't use your air fryer for everything like what are you doing like lately we've been using our air fryer for shrimp salmon whatever so anyway babe made shrimp it's his night to cook so we're having shrimp salads with naan bread on the mm -hmm. side period so here's that naan mm. Mm. come on with his hands that's a real chef you flip down already mm -hmm. oh Let's see that. Oh yeah, caramelized. So yeah, we got the naan bread, and then he copied me, y'all. Y'all know earlier in this video, y'all saw a little pizza bar. Here's his little um salad bar. So basically, it's the Caesar salad. Hey, little, look at my salad bar. <laughs> he got his salad bar right here. We got some Parmesan croutons, black pepper, the Caesar salad that came with the kit, and then of course some more Parmesan and um, Caesar salad. So. Once I plate it, I will come back and show y'all. But honestly, I'm super hungry because, of course, I had a shot or two. And, um, yeah. This is the shrimp that we got from Aldi um, earlier this week. So, I'll let you guys know how we like it. We are having shrimp salads with naan bread. And, yes, I am going to eat my naan bread because it was a super low-calorie and carb day. So now I'm just adding the Parmesan on top that came with the salad kit. And I am going to add a couple croutons because what she said is my business. Because that's my business. So I'm going to add a couple croutons. We crunched them up super small. And then I'm going to add my dressing. Y'all, this looks amazing. So thankful. And there you have it. I have a shrimp Caesar salad and naan bread on the side. So yeah, I do have some black pepper here, but I'm I'm gonna add it after. So yeah, this is the end results. So yeah, looks bomb. I'm about to eat it and enjoy. If you guys like this kind of video, me posting what I eat in the week for dinner, let me know. I'll do lunch and breakfast. But yeah, I just wanted to start somewhere. So yeah, let me know. Anyway. I love y'all, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Later on.